What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining us again. We've got a special edition of the Binge Warmers today. We yes, got sir. our friend Dan with us here. Dan, the boy Hello. wonder. Dan 10, as he's known. <clears throat> Be sure to follow him on Twitter and YouTube. We'll have those pulled up on there for you. Mm-hmm. Thanks for joining us, Dan. Bye-bye. Right. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing this NBA draft-style playlist video. So everybody's got to pick aliens to round out like a playlist and uh, we're going to get you guys to vote on who has the best alien playlist for like a Ben 10 yep. Omnitrix scenario. And then the winner gets Alien X on their roster. That's true. We're not going, we can't pick Alien X because. He's just yeah, no Alien X over. That's like, it's the win button. It's the win button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And we're letting Dan go first because he's our guest. So, Dan, it's to you, friend. First pick, what you got? All right. All right. Well, my first one brought pick. Okay. This one was kind of tough because. I didn't know how we we're gonna decide. Like, what's the how the um, how we're gonna like decide a winner? I just wanted the safest pick. I picked Diamond Head. Diamond Head's my first. Whoa! Pick. No, dude, he was gonna be my second Shots one. Shots have dude. been fired, man. From Benson Classic, that is my favorite alien, dude. Oh, Every, wow, everybody loves Diamond. Head. Everybody. That's loves what Diamond. I'm saying, so cool. dude. Okay, All that right. was a strong pick right off the bat. That's 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 pretty good. What you yeah, think? Yeah, I'm uh, okay. So for my first one, I've got to go with uh, consistency overall, <laughs> and it's just gonna be Swamp Fire right out the gate. Man, you've got, well, I, I, you've I, got, I, I, he he would have low key been my first. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what uh, mine was gonna be Swamp Fire and then Diamond Head. So that kind of hurts, but uh, yeah, Swamp Fire. He's got both Heat Blast and Wild Vine all mixed into one. Well, and he's like, and he's strong. He picks up that thing, that arc yeah. that time. You know, he's got. You the, can blow half his body up. He just grows back. And he's like, he's yeah, fucked he's up like, the hybrids and stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, Swamp Fire is my first one. He was putting them numbers in. Okay, well, I like y'all hadn't picked anything. Too crazy yet, but I'm going way big this time. Oh my god! Way oh, that's, big right off that's the bat. A that's a sleeper. That is that's a, a sleeper, sleeper, dude. Dang, I'm not gonna lie it's hard. To you. I don't, uh, me personally, you could have waited on that because he is not on my list. So. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> I don't, Honestly, dang. I didn't think about putting him on my list either. That's insane. So I got, I got the, yeah. the big boy yeah. already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna go with more uh, fan pleasing. I'm gonna go accelerate. No, oh, dude, he is man. stealing every single one. That's dude. that's tough. No, I don't know if you can tell by the shirt, Dan, but the Flash is literally top three like favorite superheroes <laughs> oh, of all time. Hey, I, I'm a big fan of Super Speed, so I'm a Flash believer. So yeah, dude. Flash. Oh my, it's one of my favorite power anything, sets. Also, anything Super Speed related gets my love for real, for real. Dude, I'm telling you, man, he's just stealing. So them. OP. He could like stop time if he wants. He yeah, could, like do the tornadoes. Damn, he's taking the next two I was gonna pick. So uh, <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go forearms. Yeah, I gotta go forearms. Picking forearms. I knew you were gonna try and take it if I didn't. So he was my next pick. I know. Up. So I was like, I gotta get him out Damn. of here because I know you like him over Humongousaur, and I think he yeah. is a fan favorite. So. Dan hates Humongousaur. I don't know if you know. Dan, you don't like Humongousaur. <laughs> Humongousaur. <bro. laughs> yeah, why you hate him? What's the hate Ooh, for him? Dude. Oh. Honestly, I think he's like one of the most boring alien costumes. <laughs> no, dude. Thing. It's a big <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and, it, and, it, and it doesn't make it any better that he tries to keep getting him. And then in Omniverse, they put him in yep. tidy whities to take away his growth ability. He's a fraud. They put him bro. in tidy whities? Oh, yeah. You haven't oh, seen his OV design? I never he, watched he, Omniverse. He I just, I was an Omniverse hater, so yeah, I never, I never went past the blocks art style you know <laughs> you know i heard i heard you say was so i'm gonna I'm let all like the bad thoughts i had in the back of my head I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> <laughs> i've i've there's been some things i've seen where i've told hopper i'm like maybe so if i can't pick forums i can't pick accelerate i'm going i don't know it's tough man i oh, think yeah. i'm we going clockwork yeah <laughs> <laughs> you clockwork. Clockwork, Dan? Oh, okay. okay you like you like clockwork okay. Clockwork, Clockwork is OP as fuck. Again, you hadn't seen o- you hadn't seen Omniverse. He like reverses the destruction of every universe. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, he's broke as. F- and I love that ability he's got where he can like show you what happened in yeah. the past like hour or whatever. He's got that like reverse time where you can kind of yeah, see he, like, ability. Reverses yeah, time, like in like in like a certain like like field like in an area. But he only did awesome. like I know I know what episode you're talking about where he does it in like his uh, his auntie's house and he reverses just that area. So. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's a little detail though. It's yeah. some little details. All right. What you got for your third All pick, right. Dan? Please don't take another All one, right. dude. I'm begging you. <laughs> All 
All right, now I'm gonna like go for like good team synergy and construction. I've got all, I've got all. I think I can take a lot of the votes with my two tops. I'm gonna go big chill. I need a flyer. Oh, are you? I literally was. <laughs> That's dude, good. I'm telling you, he's reading my mind. That was gonna be my number three. I big was like, chill, man. Okay, I, I had a backup hey, plan this time. I was you ready for it. You should have peeped. You should have peeped because I wasn't taking jet right. I got my feet in. No, Luke, yeah, I mean, you I'm telling speedster. you. I'm so, as soon as I was thinking, oh, I need flying. I was like, Big Chill is the obvious answer. He's well, no, the obvious I mean, answer. he's got the ice. He can go in, intangible. Yeah, he's That's just so broken. Who's, oh. picking, who's picking stink flyer like anybody? Else? Between, <laughs> between Jet Ray and Big Chill. He's low tier stink fly. <laughs> What you got, Steve? All right, number my number three, probably a fringe pick, but I'm going Wrath, man. Oh, Wrath! I love yeah. Wrath, dude. Yeah. He's easy overall, top overall. He, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, oh, he's yeah. got like the mixed martial arts kind of things, the ferocity and he's stuff. He's taken several like f like you know stories, falls. Like, yeah, he's, he, he makes a hole he's in the fall, ground. Yeah, he's like, let me tell you, Mr. Let me tell you something, <laughs> Wrath, <laughs> Sizzle. <laughs> no, he's, he's comedic when relief. He's, he's OP. Just, yeah, when he's not just comedic relief, though, he does have some feet. That's yes, all dude, all he's so good. He's, he's oh, got yeah. the like, Wolverine thing too. The little like the claw, the Wolverine claw, claw thing. Yeah, he's a strong contender. I think you've got forearms and wrath. You've got I'm like going. a strong team I'm so far. I'm punching you, dude. <laughs> you got, going you home to punch. You got some heavy hitters over there. I mean, I mean, yeah. where them all from. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so then I kind of feel like I need to pick something. Yeah, go for it. Heavy on this one. What you got? Well, I've got way. Well, big. you got way big. You got a heavy hitter. Yeah, he's pretty heavy. I mean, but he's un he's kind of unusable indoors. Yeah, like, if you're true. fighting forever nights, you can't be you know just doing it in a warehouse. Yeah, unless you're just like um, a real motherfucker. Like, the doors. <laughs> 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 he said, "Screw the doors, dude. Just tear it up, man." <laughs> um, <laughs> damn. Okay, so let's let's go. I'm I'm thinking more team synergy in the in the vein of Big Chill. I'm going with. Chromastone. Oh, that's, Ooh, that's a good He's a conductor, too. Ooh, that's a tough pick. That's, that's a, a tough, tough one. Yeah. He can fly. He can also. Wait, he can fly? Yeah, he can fly. Because yeah. remember, Did he's I miss like. That? He's it's like. He's really uh, brief. Yeah. <laughs> Tetrax, Tetrax says. He flies away, and Tetrax says, Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you didn't know about him. Oh, my God. So I dude. think he's got <laughs> untapped potential. Ben doesn't even know what the fuck he's got. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, I'd be using him every day. He's using that like a human spot. Well, uh, chromosome sponge or whatever the species is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot him back. And they, you know, he starts flying. <laughs> <laughs> he did get torn up by old Vilgax, but, like, I'm not fighting Vilgax every day. I think he's a good, solid, you know, third pick. All right, Dan, what's your number four? All right, I'm going to go a little out of the box here because looking at my list, I don't have that big of a heavy hitter. Diamond Head is, like, mm. my biggest hitter. So I'm going to take a really underrated alien in Gravitech. Oh damn! Wait, I don't know Gravitech. Gravitech's Omniverse, man. Don't he can control gravity. Is, he's a, he's oh. an Omniverse new one. He makes he's a hitter too. Over, like, damn, he's dude. Yeah, he's a, he's okay, I mean, we may do player. a, we may do an Omniverse binge, me and you. Uh, you yeah, gotta Omniverse watch it, man. It's, yeah. it's dope. Omniverse got some hits. Now I'll say, first couple seasons are a little, little childish, you know. But oh, they add some lore. Like whenever, like they kind of have this whole thing with like malware and yeah. and uh, the the hunter Kyber, man, it's yeah. just dope. It's a dope. If you, if, <laughs> if, you really, if you really a big man chess fan, you can't go without seeing Obi. It's just it's a safe. Okay, I mean okay. when we talk about Alien X, you ain't even seen the half the shit he's done. I mean I, I watched yeah, some clips and I'd be like, okay, okay, and he's they got were some from moves. Omniverse, bro. They were from Omniverse. Yeah, yeah. they were from Omniverse. <laughs> put, Omniverse put him on. Omniverse put him on. Okay, Steven. Okay, so. Four. Dan took uh, big chill, so I've got I've got to get him. I'm going Arctic Guana, dude. <laughs> dude I, I, I love that's, that's a good thing. I love Arctic Guana too. I love okay. Arctic Guana, dude. Okay. We don't know. He may have some like lizard powers too on top of it. You know what I mean? Here's my thing, right? Because Swamp Fire has some fire abilities, but he's not as strong as Heat Blast. Yeah. With the fire stuff, I'm assuming Arctic Guana has like way next level freezing. That's what I'm compared telling to you. Big Chill. So yeah. He can't yeah. go into he, he can't like, do all that, but um, I think yeah, he might have like some shit on the side, like how Swamp Fire has his old plant thing. Cause that's kind of like he, yeah, Swamp Fire's firepower not being as strong kind of like coincides with his very good like Swamp Power, Swamp Fire. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I feel like I needed. Some, I'm all about elemental stuff. You know what I mean? So if I got Swamp Fire, I got to do Arctic Guana as well. Yeah, yeah. Fire and Ice. Man, okay, so I I feel like. I kind of, I mean, I got Chromastone and he can fly, but I want like a speedster. And if we're looking at yeah. speed, we got to, I mean, I can't go fast track 
because he sucks. <laughs> so uh, I gotta go Jet Ray on this. You're I, he's, just a blue, <laughs> he's just a blue cat. I don't know. I, I go Jet Ray with this pick. I'll tell you, his artwork is cool. I've seen Fast Track, and I was like, okay, that guy looks sick. He's in Ultimate yeah, Alien, I think. He looked really sweet. Did it? Is he in Ultimate Alien? Yeah. I think it was something no, about the yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, no. He's in Ultimate Alien. He's in Ultimate Alien. Yeah. And then uh, he's there's cool. the, like, I like him in the Omniverse side. Yeah. yeah. Got you, got he's, you. He can, I think he's stronger than Accelerate, um, but he's not quite as quick. I mean, he's he's cool. He's a good he's, pick. He's not, I just, he's not as fast, and uh, his, like, his, the way his speed works, he can't, like, stop on the dime. So it's like... Oh, okay. Yeah. He, I mean, he's cool. I, I, but I gotta give it to Jet Ray because he can fly. He's got the speed. He can go like he can, he can like light travel through space. I think I've seen him like breathe water and stuff too because he's an uh, aerophibian. I think is what they go with. Um, I yeah, and I like it. He's got the neuro shocks, man. Come on. I don't. I've never been a. I've been a Jet Ray hater. I like from day him. One. No, I like Jet Ray. Come on. Jet Ray is like the definition of like mid for me. Let's Whoa. go. I'll win that. He's like. Eh. Like sometimes I fuck with Jerry, sometimes I don't. Okay, I'm gonna take Steven thinking and go fire ice, and my fifth pick is Heat Blast. I was scared because my next one's gonna be another elemental, and I was really scared he was about to take it. <laughs> That's a heavy hitter right there. He's he's I think for my money he's the most like like all arounder. Like he can do he can do strength. He can do you know yeah, he can fly. He can is very yeah. like versatile. They're there's insane. even like a They're slight bit of like geo for me because he does the whole thing with the growl fight. Like he, he, he can melt the cool sidewalk. Stuff. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's, oh, he's I mean, there's a reason why Heat Blast is so memorable. It sucks that they never use him. Like they use forearms a lot in the later <laughs> seasons of, or later shows, but they never really bring yeah. Heat Blast back for as much as they could. Yeah, yeah Heat Blast was like really absent in like the OAF era until like mm -hmm. ultimately, and then he has like, like one or two appearances. A couple times, and then yeah. Omniverse too. It's like he's not really in that. I mean, he's a couple times, but not. <laughs> Anyway. All right, my next one. I don't know. I like his design. I like his power set. I'm going to go Water Hazard. <laughs> water Hazard. I right. like Water Hazard, man. Uh, you a you element, got a cover though. for me, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why you were going to take it. Yeah, you said you were going to take a page, and I was like, please don't take Water Hazard. You've been taking, you've been sniping <laughs> literally all of my aliens, man. I'm, I'm going to have to like pivot here. And say Echo Echo. That was my next. I think he's the next. My next yeah. pick, bro. I don't need to from both of us. <laughs> I, I, my, I just swapped him to be my next pick because he was on my board. You mother <laughs> yeah, player. let's go, dude. I'm telling you, that was my number. So I was like, okay, I'm going Echo Echo next. That's my next one. All three of us were about to go Echo Echo. Dude. He's so he's like the most useful alien of all time. You can like. And if we count duped as a real episode that happened, you can like clone yourself. I mean, I wouldn't, but like. You can clone yeah, yourself turn into, like... <laughs> it's, that episode's kind of tough. I, I not know. hearing you. Damn. Damn, uh, you the took rough him, dude. Sound. I mean, like, even if... We're not doing Ultimates, but, like, Ultimate Echo Echo, obviously the best. Uh, yeah. You get the, the wall of sound. Yeah. Like, okay, that's a great dude. pick. That's, that's a great pick. Oh. I can't even be mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, since you uh, put my board up, I have to go back and... Who do you think who's gonna who deserves this sixth spot? And as so a I'm kinda I'm kinda lacking on just like you're like brute force, essentially. Mm. So I'm gonna take a very obscure pick. Steven might be so confused with this guy's name. I'm gonna say Kick and Hawk. I'm gonna say Kick and Hawk. Oh hey, okay. Chicken Hawk. Okay, now Kick I can. Oh, Kick and Hawk. Okay, I, I got to Google him now. He is, uh, he's like a martial arts guy, I always thought. Like, he's kind of got the. The martial arts. What the heck is this guy? I knew, I knew, I knew he was a Kick and Hawk Whenever he first turned into that, he scanned Liam and turned into him. I was like, what the f are we doing here? He's got a like, toy. They made a toy out of him. He's awesome. No, he's cool. That he's cool. Look. <laughs> no, he's good. And, like, he's got the talons. He's, you know, got the claws. He's got the martial arts ability. Is that kind of his, his deal? Like he's the martial really underrated. Yeah, he's yeah, like he's yeah. like a really he uses like a lot, but he's a martial artist. Steven, this is the ball. Well, well I, I had to. Yeah, I have to do an audible here because I literally thought that <laughs> I was going to be picking Echo Echo, but I guess not. So, um, yeah, we're going that, that, that the, pick everybody's board. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to like my next pick, Dan. Um, I don't. I don't think you like my next I pick. Hope, I hope I I'm not stealing this from anybody. But I'm I'm gonna go Cannonbolt. Whoa, Cannonbolt! I, I love Cannonbolt. You know, I mean, we've had the community poll. We Dan, love Dan, Cannonbolt. let me ask you this. I don't know if you've been following our beef here. 
Do you think the white part of Cannonball feels like a dolphin or a tennis ball? The white part? So, like, his, like, his torso, basically? Yeah. Yeah. You said a dolphin or a what? Or a tennis ball. Tennis ball. Okay. Based on those two things, never felt the dolphin. I felt the tennis ball. I don't think it feel like a tennis ball, so I'm going to go a dolphin. Let's uh, go! I think. Looks, I think. It looks, uh, like, it looks. It looks like really smooth. Like if you. Think that's like what I'm telling smooth, you. So, what? I, I think, Duncan well, Rouleau, I think, said he's he's got little hairs on him or something. So I was just like, okay, he's a tennis ball. But I want you to know, like, our one of our first recordings, like episode one or two, <laughs> we're like talking about all of it, and I looked at Hopper. I said, you know, I've always, I've never told anybody this, but I've always thought that he had like a dolphin feel. Like I've always wanted to touch him because I feel like he'd feel like dolphin. a dolphin. <laughs> And all the episodes where, like, he, like, takes people, like, he rolls around. I'm like, oh, yeah. my God, Susan. It's got to be. That's what I'm <laughs> telling you, see? I'm not the only one. By the time they, like, come down from space with Cannonball, like, holding yeah. on to him, it's like, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Hopper, what are you at? You're on number, this is number six, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're at six. I think I've got, you know, I've got some big, I've got some big hitters here, so I don't want to go any stronger. Um, I kind of am gonna go like more niche with this, so I'm thinking like technology. I'm going upgrade. He's Let's the, go. He's the I goat. He's I think he's so cool. He can like his power. He can like teleport through like electricity. Sometimes he can build constructs mm -hmm. out of nothing. I mean, he's just the goat. He probably like been the most versatile alien. That's yeah, yeah, oh for sure. You need you need a versatility. You got me versatile alien. Oh. Yeah. Ben Ten just doesn't. Damn. Ben doesn't use him to his. He most never potential. Used, Like I would always pick yeah. him, or like I, you know, I would just. Yeah, you'd be like that. That's an easy job Especially, for upgrade, and then Ben's going like forearms. Yeah. Especially when he gets so many more aliens. Like a lot of the good ones, like kind of just fall who get swept under the rug. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's a that's a good choice. Thank you. We got four more, man. And there's still like a million aliens to pick from. Yeah, I'm scrambling exactly. them because I want like the best list. I I want to <laughs> win now, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like I'm, this, this, ain't, this, this is not a game anymore. Yeah, because like <laughs> I was gonna pick honestly, I was gonna pick what? like Ben Wolf. Echo, Echo, it got serious. Yeah, it got <laughs> serious. It got serious. I could clone. Y'all could y'all could pick Ben Wolf, but then you only got the Sonic, and then you could pick Ditto, but you only got the cloning. Yeah, Echo, Echo. Ben Wolf, ben Wolf yeah. is a, a, a ten pick at most for anybody. I'm feeling on it. That hurts. I think so. <laughs> he was gonna be my top three before I realized this was a competition. <laughs> <laughs> I just love his design so much. We're, we're just gonna go through. Everybody's gonna draft their favorites. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, number seven. All right. I'm trying to think. So from the side of things, Steven's never seen Omniverse, and Will has. So I'm kind of playing it safe with this because I'm, I'm gonna take an area you have seen. Just because I know my other pick is safe on the board, I'm gonna take Brainstorm. Oh, oh, good okay, pick. Okay. He, was, he was on my list. He's like number eight or nine, but he's on my list. Yeah, That's okay. a good pick. I like that. Yeah, I was, I, I was, I was listening in the wheel talking about he needs smarts and brands. I'm like, okay, if you don't take Echo Echo. Uh, I mean, if he doesn't take Upgrade, I take Upgrade. Take Brainstorm. You know, like I was like, no, no, no. I mean, he's there's that there's that scene in Omniverse where like I think it's like the Captain Nemesis and like Billy Billions or whoever they come at him the and he's like doing the. What they call it. Yeah. yeah, he's doing like some Sherlock Holmes. Shit. He's like, oh, that fire pot can fall at this rate of velocity, and he's doing all this stuff in his head. That's, I think he does a lot of work with my team, other than gray matter, because even though gray matter is the smartest species, you get more use from the brain slot. Because yeah, me totally personally, agree. I just prefer brain slot. Plus, I think he can crawl up walls and stuff too. I think he's got that ability. Get that little crab like little stuff. Crab vibe, yeah. I love it. Green needle, you know. All right, so my next pick. It's hard because I've got three that I really want to go with right now. We're, we're getting toward the end of the list. So. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> stick with my guns here. I'm going. I'm going Armadrillo, dude. Oh! I, I just really love his aesthetics. I, I like the digging stuff. Him. Yeah, he's just and you know he's got strong strength. I, I always picture like when he's punching. I always picture that scene from um, Avengers: Age of Ultron when uh, Tony Stark is like punching Hulk and he's go like, to go, sleep, to sleep, <laughs> "Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep." I'm picturing oh, yeah. Armadrillo doing that. Yeah, like. <laughs> I feel like that's what Armadrilla's about, you know? So, just to recap Steven's list here, he's got Forearms, <laughs> Wrath, and, Ar and Armadrilla. <laughs> and you know what? You I tell you right now, I trade... putting hands on people. Dude. Got gas, man. Dan, I'll tell you right now, I will trade all three of those for Diamond Head. That's how much I love Diamond <laughs> Head, dude. And that's why Diamond Head was the first pick. Who's that's out? what I'm that's saying, true. dude. Oh, man. You know who I'm picking? And this is going to piss off Dan, I think. Lodestar. 
You know, he you know, was like in I, there I, for considerations. Hey, yeah, he was in there for... I would have took a first overall, but I had to play smart. But that <laughs> yeah, is <really> smart. <laughs> I, I was having a conversation on the Pipeline podcast yesterday. We were saying that uh, Low Star doesn't get like he he falls in like the range of situational because yeah. his powers do like his magna base. Like they really mm. get him like a lot just on action. But then really you think you also have upgrade, don't you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I was just realizing that Low Star would be a good counter for a Galvin and Mecha Morse when I was watching uh, the Intake video. So you're taking you're taking the competition out taking by, the comp- yeah. by adding them to yeah. yours. That's you can smart. still use like some yeah. you know some Galvin or some uh, jury rig and figure out some kind of magnet technology. But Low Star, he's very he's very usable. I think because he can float. He can he like when he's fighting the Forever Knights and he's just like throwing them into each other. Oh, so he's they're like, all he's metal. levitating. That yeah. and scary. He's, he's he's like on a he has like the same power as Swampfire where. He can't, like, he, he's hard to kill. No, he blew yeah, up, yeah. and then he just put it back together the same way Swampfire <laughs> does. I mean, he's literally like a Magneto-type Magneto. character, you know? He's Magneto yeah. times two. Yeah. Like, yeah. Anyway. Times three, even, maybe. Let's not go that far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. What's up, Dan? Right. Pick number eight. Well, number eight? Okay. Okay, well, both of wasn't on my list, but thankfully he wasn't. But this is an alien that did not have failed this fall. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him while he's still here. I need some more. Uh, what's the word? Elemental powers on my roster. Mm. So I'm getting electricity. I'm taking feedback. Oh, who is it? Feedback. Feedback. You don't know. I man. don't know feedback. He's wait. He's the one with the dangly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks yeah. like the Billy yeah. and Mandy uncle. He's like, That's how he <laughs> always reminds me of. Yeah. <laughs> Think of like chromosome, but just like a lot cooler. In a way. Yeah. And stronger, I think, because he's got the. The an Ilarg thing, doesn't he like he shoots that back at somebody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the very last episode. He's his, got some juice. His, his ability, yeah, his ability his ability is a lot stronger than chromosome where he takes stuff and he shoots it back. Yeah. yeah. He's, Plus he's like a fan favorite, favorite, I feel like. Back. That's what he is. That's why I'm surprised he throw that for. Oh, yeah, man. Dang, okay. Ooh, it's getting serious, Steven. <clears throat> All right, I was gonna pick something, but now I've got to I got to pick the other pick because uh, and hopefully the other guy is still there when I go to him. But I can't remember his name. Hopper, you're gonna have to help me out. Who you got? Uh, no, it's it's Edel, isn't it? You're picking Edel. I love the laser, dude. I'm an Edel hater, straight no, up. No, dude, the artwork, Dan. What do you think I'm of the art? Come on. Okay, you're talking about Ultimate Alien Edel, right? Yes. Yeah. I like him more than uh, on the verse. That's a hot take. But I agree. My main, he, my main thing is there's a your your pick is very surprising because there's an alien that does what he does a lot better. But oh, you know. really? Up, oh, uh, up Chuck. Yeah. Up you know what? We've talked about this. I like Edel's design more. There's than There's no shot. I do. I'm sorry. Edel just looks he, sick. He could Edel probably does impale look a lot you. Cooler. Edel does look yeah. a lot cooler. And but, at the end of the day, we got to pick. You know, <laughs> aesthetic. <laughs> aesthetics really are part of it. You know what I mean? That's a really interesting pick. That's a brave pick, Steve. When, before I said Edel, I said, <laughs> yeah, I literally in my head, I said, <laughs> I literally brave in my head, I said, um, I said, you know, I know Hopper's going to say Upchuck is better. I already know he's going to say that, but Edel, design-wise for me, is just way better. You know, my heart screams for Rip Jaws, but I don't think I need him. Like, I've got... No one does. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Man, there's so many. I feel like there's some like there's some omniverse utility here. I haven't really I haven't really checked out yet. Like Wambat, uh, Wampire. You know, omniverse Wampire. is really omniverse <laughs> is like really freaky because Will has never, or oh, Steven has never seen it. I bet. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's it's so free. You guys have an entire roster that I have no no idea about. <laughs> it's true. I I kind of want Atomics. He's pretty strong. Damn it. All right, let's look him up. <laughs> no, Dan. Dan's not that's happy with not, that. That was my <laughs> Oh, that was no. your next pick? <laughs> I was my I got next it. pick. <laughs> I, I, I've been on the lines. I've said before that Atomic is just like, he's a very, he's an alien in the show that has like a lot of untapped potential. So they build him, first off, his name dropped in the classic show as one of Ben's top hitters. Yep. And then he shows up in OV, and he, you know, he does some stuff, but, you know, the way he's gassed up, you would think like he'd get like a lot more screen time, get to show off his ability, so. What about Big 10,000 going? Bro, you might it up. 
<laughs> what about Ben 10,000 going uh, Atomic X and he mixes Alien X and Atomics? I saw a picture of that. That looks cool. But you know, he does it like, I Dan, know. I don't know if you know the moment I'm talking about, but he like rushes into that like a uh, time bomb yeah, and, he and just like. Yeah, punches a big ass time bomb and just raise <laughs> like. Ben took care of everybody. You're a hero. <laughs> I love that, dude. I like I like uh, the Atomic X design. It looks cool, but it does. No way, like, yeah. Okay, that's it's it's back to you, Dan. Number nine, closing them out soon. I just, it's my boredom, bro. <laughs> keep my boredom. Okay, <laughs> I, have few, I have a few options I could go with. You know, okay, I'm looking at my list. I got a Diamond Head, Accelerate, Big Chip, Gravitat. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with the with a very very big surprise. Another one that's gonna make Steven go, huh? I'm gonna go block. I'm gonna go block. You're going for blocks. No, dude, I hate that. Hold on, hold on. So Hear him out because blocks is very. I mean, for as silly as he looks and as like well, merchandisable okay, look, as he look, is, he's very if you, useful. If you, if yes, he's very useful. If, if you take off the Lego gorilla the lenses, <laughs> he does a lot of cool like literally. He's he's, he's up to versatility. Those like, goggles are glued to my head, though. That's all I'm seeing. <laughs> Dang, Blocks is good. I, I, I think that's a good pick. Too, Blocks has a lot of haters. But the real ones yeah. don't know. The real ones don't know. Oh, man. Okay, man. There, there's... This is this is the last two, so make Uh-oh. them count now. So this one, I don't know if you guys were even thinking about him, <laughs> but I keep seeing his ultimate form here, and I know we're not bringing those in. Yeah. But I've got to go Spider Monkey, man. Whoa, that's... Very safe pick. I, I did not want him yeah. at all. I love not, Spider not Monkey so much. Hey, but Spider Monkey, Monkey Loki does have some moments. That's what I'm saying, what's dude. Up, yeah. He's like Spider Man and a monkey. You know what I mean? Like, I guess he does have four arms. That's pretty yeah. cool. Not as cool as your other four armed alien, but yeah. you know, he's got he's got some some versatility. He's, he's acrobatic. Yeah, he can kind of swing around. Not yeah. exactly flying, but but mobile. He's got some mobility to yeah. him. Be, yeah, yeah, very very mobile. He'd be a he'd be a tough task for somebody. That was a very slow idea. With all the, you know, all the controversy aside, I think Ghost Freak's my pick here. Because I think he's he's pretty strong. And he, you, t- you take him out at night, he's even stronger. Yeah, that's true. He's got that purple beam that Ben never used. And know? never uses it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I remember that's your number nine. I, I, love, I, I love that 5 wheel gave from Telekinesis. I think it helps off the alien. Oh, five. yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really other than that, Ghost out. Freak can't do the douche, though. <laughs> no. yeah. I like the possession. Right. I keep going back to that. Like he can possess, it, like pretty much most aliens. I think that's pretty cool. All right. So I'm. So it's my last pick, right? Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. I'm. 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 I'm stumped here. There are <laughs> a tough. lot. The, the board. The board is very thin. And I'm looking <laughs> for, for for like my big heavy hitter, right? So you know, something something to cap it all off. Yeah. But. It's tough. I'm also looking at my own list. What I'm missing. I'm not missing a lot. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm missing a lot because you've taken it's, most it's of them. Really, I need, I need like the, the blue guy here. It is it's tough for me. Right now, I'm stuck in between my guy. You're lucky. You're lucky I picked feedback because I would have took Frankenstein, but I don't need him. Okay. <laughs> But honestly, the more I think about it, the more I think I'm gonna have to take Upchuck for my tip. Oh, Upchuck! Okay. Wow. Okay. I mean, someone had y'all. Were, y'all were hyping him up. I was gonna be surprised. No, I was like, oh, like it'd be stupid if we hype him up and he doesn't go draft. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All this hate and then no one even picks the the better one. <laughs> supposedly, he's great. He's also got two forms. He's got the perk <clears throat> and the merc. Is that right? Yeah. yeah he's they got like, like the subspecies. Oh, the okay. Yeah. He's pretty good. He's pretty. That's a good pick, I think. That's so, and he's real, he's well rounded. He pretty much fits in every situation. He's light enough to not like, you know, get get super. He can. He's kind of mobile. He can kind of get around, but he's yeah. also really powerful. He can. If it depends on what he eats, really. So. Bro, you ain't got to sell me. I love Upchat. Okay, I love not as much as Edel. Edel just looks cooler, dog. I'm sorry. Okay, so my last one. I'm gonna be honest. It's an, it's an electric one. But I was thinking feedback. I was even thinking because uh, feedback's one of the only ones I know from the first. Mm-hmm. But and I was thinking Frankenstrike, but I got to go with Amphibian. Oh wow! You know, I, you know what I was I was thinking him, but I had my my Ben Ten fan goggles on where yeah. I think Amphibian is super lame. But if you look at his his <laughs> power set, 
Dude, electricity, mind control, flight, underwater. Like, he's yeah. versatile, too. They just don't throw he, it along the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. The problem with them is that the, the, the guy who, I can't remember his name, but the actual amphibian that he helps against Aggregor is right, a very right, weak character. Name. Yeah, like, I'm not a fan of him, but the alien as a whole, like you said, is just phenomenal. <sighs> And I, I kept staring at this list, and I keep seeing him up there, and I'm like, I gotta they pick him. I gotta pick him. <laughs> yeah. They don't, they don't do a good job showcasing all of his powers. But if you take yeah. time to look at him, he, he has a lot of. Shit to do. He, he is a good one. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I tactic. think he's yeah. sort of sandwiched in between better like electricity aliens too. Like, yeah. in the wide range of the Omnitrix, he's not his, his, his electricity is not as powerful as like. He, you know, I think so he's that or, I forgot to even list his, that he can't have electricity. Like that's, that's yeah, like that's, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's his, his, like you said, is he's not the strongest electric, but because he's so versatile and has electricity, that's why I like him so much. Totally. Ooh. All right, Hopper. It all comes down to this. Your last one. I've got one that I'm surprised you haven't picked, Stephen. Oh, really? I've got. Uh, he's from the classic series. He's okay. The second ever alien that Ben unlocks beside oh, the original ten. That's. I, I thought about vine. him. I know who you're thinking. Well, I picked, uh, I picked oh, uh, Swampfire, oh, so I don't need Wild Vine. But he's got the better oh, plant vine. abilities. Yeah, but I don't have another fire besides Swampfire, so I need I need it both. It's true. I don't have any fire types. I no, got, don't get me wrong. I and no Dan fire. sounds like he's agreeing. Wild Vine is S tier for the OG bin. Ooh, yeah, wild, <laughs> wild Vine is a sleeper hit of an alien. He can do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's just, he's he wild bombs. Yeah, yeah. We, we just he's covered the... Uh, we, we just I covered our Wild Vine episode, too. Yeah. I was okay. thinking of like cause I was thinking about him or Ben Mummy. And if I had to yes, choose dude. Wild Vine, Wild Vine. Oh, totally. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, we don't see much of of uh, Snaro. Is that his Omniverse name? Snaro, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we don't see much of him, but like, I mean, with Wild Vine, right off the bat, he's got the thorns. He's got mm -hmm. the stretchy Luffy arms. He's got the bombs on his back. Man, he's got. He can drill into the earth. He can go in the earth. He's got uh, plants like camouflage or something. He turns into a tree. I think at one yeah. point he, he talked to the he talked to the fungus guy, so he can talk to plants. So I mean, how useful is that really? But. I don't know, but he, <laughs> it's a power. <laughs> he can. He might make one fire do what he don't want to do. You know. Yeah, that's true. Oh, he could take over. That's that's a possibility. That's a possibility. All right, Dan, so go through your full list here. All right, so I'm going to get off at the top. I have Diamond Head, Accelerate, Big Chill, Rav Attack, Heat Blast, Chicken Hawk, Brainstorm, Feedback, Block, and Upchuck. Ooh, that's a that's a good list. Listening to him list his top three, they were all gonna be my next two, four, <laughs> like two through four. That's what they were gonna be after Swampfire, and he just kept grabbing. Them. Like, He's got so yeah, hottest, so many of the, the iconic items ones. on the show where you gotta go get them. Yeah, yeah. Dude. yeah. Get them oh man. Between like Diamond Head, Accelerate, Heat Blast, Big Chill, like these are some of the most iconic aliens of Ben Ten and Jim. I literally was like, Accelerate, you have to have a speedster, and what better speedster than Accelerate? Yeah. yeah. Ugh. Okay, Steven, get us through your list. Yeah, so I've got Swampfire. I've got Forearms. I've got Wrath. I've got Arctiguana. I've got Water Hazard. I've got Cannon Bolt. I've got Amphibian. Mm -hmm. Edel. And Armadrillo. Mm -hmm. And I've got... What's my last one? Spider Monkey. Spider Monkey. I, I should have forgot him. I love him. <laughs> I love Spider Monkey, I swear. Even you forgot about him. <laughs> I was like, dang, I know I have 10. Where is it? Really solid numbers here. Swamp fire, forearms. Say what? What was your first pick against Steven? Uh, Swamp fire. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty broken cool. here. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I, when when Hopper first approached me about the this collab and stuff, in my head I already knew I was like, I've got to grab Swamp fire first. He has to be my first <laughs> pick. He's just so well rounded. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> But yeah, no, Swamp Fire Forearms. I mean, you definitely have the punchy boys. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming to punch, You got dog. the hard hitters, yeah, the heavy boys. You coming to whoop ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got sort of an eclectic list. I've got Mr. Waybig, Clockwork, Chroma Stone, Jet Ray, Echo Echo, Upgrade, Lodestar, uh, oh, Atomics, Ghost Freak, and Wild Vine. Yeah. The only one I don't like on yours is really Jet Ray. I'm a know, Jet man. Ray hater, dude. I think Jet Ray gets undervalued because he can... I mean, the light yeah. speed travel through space. Come on. Yeah, come on now. You forget about that light speed, his lasers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, his lasers he, are pretty weak, not, I think. He's not, the worst, he's not the worst flyer. They are yeah. they're pretty big. Though. That's definitely a... <laughs> what's a stink fly? Yeah, it's pretty definitely technical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Honestly, like like Wild Mutt too. I was like, I love him. He's awesome, but he's not. He's not making he's, the list. He's not no making the, not with Wrath being in the in the lineup. With uh, with Spider Monkey even. I think yeah. he's better than. Wow. What a list. What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have these available for you guys on our uh, YouTube and Twitters. Mm -hmm. um, go vote and see which one you like the best. Obviously, whoever wins gets Alien X added to their playlist. Yeah. And go follow Dan. We'll have his uh, his socials up there on the thing. Thanks for coming and seeing us, Dan. Yeah, we awesome appreciate content. you. Keep it up with the YouTube stuff. I and, will. Uh, we'll hope to, one thing we'll I to do, see some more collabs. Oh yeah, what's up? We, hey, any any time, any time. I'm always free, but I am curious. What Omnitrix will you pick? You can't have Neil and Oh, oh right, that's okay. a good one. That's yeah. actually a good one. All right, well, you start us off. You had the first pick. We'll just go down the line. I'm taking the Omniverse. One. This is just strictly looks. Yeah, by the way. yeah. strictly looks. It's I'm going Ultimatrix. I, no, I go. I go OG. That is Mike. <laughs> Dude, I love the Ultimatrix, man. No, nah, it's some janky ass like bootleg software no, stuff. I don't know dude, about it. No, <laughs> I go OG all day. The 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 bulkiness of it too, just the straight on. I just like it's you know it's like a cool kind of like it, it's a um, prototype we find yeah. out. So it's like you know it's, it just looks kind of weird and alien and yeah. clunky. I love it. Definitely got like a two thousands early two thousands yeah. feel too. Absolutely. No, it's sick. But yeah, man. Okay. Well, yeah, thanks for coming on. We uh, we hope to do more stuff in the future. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya.